Yesterday, a man smoking a blunt got on the subway and laid down on the floor next to a child in a stroller. Ask crack out. Let's talk about the rise of our jeans. So the rise of a pair of pants refers to the length of fabric between the crotch and the waistband. But often you hear it in direct reference to where the jeans are sitting on the body. High-waisted sitting at the natural waist closer to the midpoint of the torso. This isn't necessarily for everyone going to be like the smallest part of their waist. Mid-rise sitting just above the hips and low-rise sitting at the hips. You can also wear a pair of mid-rise pants which have more fabric between the crotch and the waistband lower down on the body sitting at the hips. So they aren't technically low-rise but they still give the effect. This is very common with baggy jeans and this is how I wear a lot of my jeans. But let us consider each type. First, the high-waisted. The girlies are familiar. We were all subjected to this from 2014 and beyond, and honestly, fuck them. They look insane on me. My legs are already long enough. Thank you very much. These were suited to the short girlies, and I was forced into that. High-waisted skinny jeans were like the fashion when I was in like middle school and high school. Why must we have that much denim suffocating 60% of our bodies? This is the only pair of high-waisted pants I could find in my closet, and honestly, I do like these ones. They aesthetically have my approval, but I don't find myself reaching for them that often because I don't like the feeling of them constructing my tummy. My tummy deserves to be free. If I can't eat soup in a pair of pants without popping a button, they quite frankly do not fit me. The mid-rise jean. I personally think mid-rise is very demure, very mindful. You can't go wrong with mid-rise. Can you tell I wrote this script in August? Uh-huh. Would you tell me if I had a booger in my nose? And yet mid-rise is constantly overlooked in favor of yapping about low-rise and high-rise pants. I feel like people are rarely talking about mid-rise because they're just not controversial. But now all the girlies think that high-waisted or low-waisted are the only options. They're not. Mid-rise covers just enough. We don't need a corset on the lower half of our bodies thank you very much <laughs> this this is high-waisted pants hate account i am also pro buying pants that fit you across a range of sizes like give or take one or two inches on the waist and i feel like mid-rise is good for this because they'll just sit a little bit higher or a little bit lower depending on the day and that's chill the pants aren't gonna like fall down your ass or make you suffocate and this is me simulating mid-rise pants with a belt because honestly i lost some weight recently and none of my pants fit me there anymore somebody send out the search party if you want my workout routine Routine, um, go through a devastating breakup. That brings us to low rise. I'm gonna see if I can find the like one pair of low rise jeans I have for this video. These aren't actually low rise jeans, but I am wearing them at my hips. When I'm wearing a pair of jeans like this, I do like to wear a pair of boxers to basically add a little extra coverage down there. I'm gonna be honest. But for an actual pair of like low rise jeans, the amount of fabric between the crotch and the waistband is criminal. I don't wanna be worried about a pube popping out of my waistband. Yes, I support rainforest conservation. At this point, most of my pants sit at my hips, but that doesn't mean they are low rise even if I wear them that way. It does mean I tend to have a lot of extra fabric in the crotch because I wear a lot of men's pants and they have extra space there for obvious reasons. Me personally, I am hung, so this is very helpful and good and important actually. What's the takeaway from all of this? Sometimes it's helpful to know about your clothing choices in these terms because it will help you identify what you actually like about how a piece of clothing looks on somebody else, like a model or someone you see online or someone you see in real life. Because when you know that information, you you are better able to recreate the same look on yourself without getting confused about why something might look a bit different on you. Of course, body type and shape have a big role in how a piece of clothing looks on you, but with this information in hand, you can make adjustments that will suit you better because we're wearing clothing on ourselves. We're not trying to take exactly somebody's look, exactly how they look and put it on ourselves. Like that's just not realistic. And also why would we want to do that? This is about creativity and self-expression, everybody. My name is Iris. If you're new here, hello. I One of my shorts blew up where I made this shirt so hi everyone somebody was like you didn't make that you diy'd it obviously literacy is dead okay that's it i'll see you in the next one should i play you a song are you gonna give me something to work with when you laugh i know that i earned it am i really so heavy to reject and i know that our connection is toxic pushing me into a car crash I really look so dumb from where you sit Anyway, I can't keep doing this <laughs> I can't keep doing this